Hey everyone, I'm going to show you here how you can download your video footage from Nest. If you don't know, Nest is going to drop support for the original Dropcam and the Dropcam Pro on April 8th, 2024. And so they're going to stop working. And I believe also the content, the, the video footage you have online might also disappear or, or you won't be able to access it. So just to play it safe, I'm going to download all that content. So I'm just going to show you uh, the slower way to do it and the quicker way. So the slower way would be to go to video clips over here on the right. If you go on the desktop under home.nest.com, you log in, you go there. Here it shows all the video uh, footage that you've at one point saved clips on uh, that you have stored online on the, on, on the cloud somewhere. So these are the ones that I have. So the slow way would be to go here, you select one of these, and then you click on the button here that says download. And when you do that, then it'll just download it right up here, right? So that's one way to do it. Uh, the easier way, which is the tr way I, tr I did earlier today, is you can go to takeout.google.com. So if you go to takeout.google.com, it'll ask you to log in. And then in here, it shows you all uh, different Google data that you can download for a bunch of different Google properties. So what you can do is um, go and say deselect all. That way, none of them are checked. And then you can go down to Nest. So I'm just going to type in Nest, which I did before. Here it shows that I did it earlier today. That's why this one shows up here. But if you scroll down, you can see, okay, here's Nest right there. And then here I can say, I can click on the checkbox. And then you might want to check these and see what 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 uh, what uh, information is going to download. So in this case here, this just tells me the formats that it would use. That's fine. Uh, if I go to advanced settings, uh, it's asked me, do I want to download any video history that has occurred recently? Uh, so for me, I don't care about that. I'm more interested in what I've saved in the past. So I'm not going to select anything. I'm going to say no video history. And then under uh, types here, this is the data that it can download. In my case, actually, I just care about the camera footage. Uh, I don't care about the thermostats or some of this other stuff that's here. So I'm going to say, I'll probably just do select all, and then I'm going to deselect all. And then I'm just going to select camera. And then I'll hit OK. So now I just have Nest selected. I have one type, which is camera. And that's all I'm going to do. Uh, so now, if I go down here, I can say next step. When I do that, it's going to say, do you want to export this file? Uh, one export is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell it a zip. Uh, I know that I have less than two gigs of data here, but it would split it up if it's more than that. And then I'll say create export. So I did this already. But once you do that, then for me, it was like within an hour, I got uh, uh, an email, which is a link to what to download. OK, so I got that email. I went to the link. I downloaded it. When I downloaded it, I basically ended up with what you can see here, uh, which is essentially a folder. Uh, it's called takeout. And then this takeout folder, if I go in there, it shows me that there's a nest folder. And there, there's camera. Then it shows clips. And when I go there, then here I have all the clips that I had on my page. So that's a quicker way to do it. You basically just have to go there uh, and um, and uh, just download everything in one file versus going one by one and having to like do that separately. OK, so I hope that's helpful to someone out there who wants to quickly uh, download all their content. They can do it using Google Takeout. OK, thanks a lot for watching. Like and subscribe. Give a thanks if you want. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.